Richard, police are still looking for that man. They say attacked that teenager here at Overton Park, which is concerning for a lot of people we spoke to. Many of the people we talked to say this attack has them on edge. It does concern me. Radars are on high alert this evening after Memphis police say a man attacked a teenage girl at Overton Park. MPD says a man... Police say a man attacked a teenage girl at Overton Park. MPD says a man tried to push that teen into the bushes in broad daylight on Wednesday. The afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely sad to hear. You can't live your life in fear, um, but definitely I'll keep a higher alert, especially knowing that there's someone going around right now. That if Sis, man. Sis, man, if you if you out there, man, just... You know, I just want you to know, man, um, you ain't got shit to worry about. <laughs> You'll be all right, man. Keep a higher alert, especially knowing that there's someone going around right now that if not yet caught. So definitely have my radar on high. It happened near one of the more secluded areas of the park. Fortunately for that victim, after fighting back and screaming, she was able to alert people nearby who helped chase that man away. She walked away with no injuries. I'd like to say it's more shocking than it is, but stuff happens. In a statement, the Overton. What do you mean stuff happens, man? He just did a story. What's her name? Heidel? What's that? Heidi? What was that lady's name? Heidi in um in um in in Phoenix. And that goddamn um mulatto son man attacked her and stabbed her 15 times, man. And she tried to hop a goddamn fence, a barbed wire fence to get away from that ape, to no avail. I just don't understand how women go running in these secluded areas, man, with no goddamn mace, man. That man away. She walked away with no injuries. I'd like to say, it's more shocking than it is, but stuff happens. In a statement, the Overton Park Conservancy, who runs Overton Park, said, quote, we are grateful that the woman who was attacked was able to get to safety, and we hope she is recovering from this trauma. They went on to say Overton Park Conservancy works closely with the Memphis Police Department to share information and track trends. Yeah, and what about the girl in Memphis? What was her name? Shit, I used to be good with these names. What's that girl's name who got killed in Memphis? She was jogging four four o'clock in the morning and that ape, Cleotha, Cleotha, Cleotha ran up on her. Salute the um Yeah, that goddamn ape named Cleotha. Salute the Benjamin. He says anything he wants. Nah, I don't listen to that type of Madonna, man. I listen to, you know, um Lucky Star. Borderlines party shit, man. I don't listen to that Madonna freaky, man. She's too freaky for me, man. With the Memphis Police Department to share information and track trends. Memphis Police Department is responsible for public safety in Overton Park, as is the case with all public parks in Memphis. I think that there's a lot of like lack of light in the park, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to put too much light in a natural area. Some people we spoke to today say they aren't surprised this happened. They say incidents like these are why it's important to remember life-saving tips and tools, especially when exercising by yourself. I like to make sure that my phone's charged when I go out, just to make sure that I have contact that, you know, people know where you are. Just being also being, you know, mindful, aware, you know, of your surroundings when you're walking. No one's talking about a fucking weapon. No one's talking about a weapon of any sort. It means the men, even the men, I can understand the women, the men aren't talking about having anything to defend yourself. Make sure that I have contact that, you know, people know where you are. Just being also being, you know, mindful, aware, you know, of your surroundings when you're walking. That's them. I don't know why it's 
So you're, you know. And we've talked to different people who have their own techniques before coming out and exercising. Some people say they only exercise or walk in groups of two or three when they come out. Others say they make sure to carry either a heavy stick or maybe some pepper spray as a deterrent. There you go. And others say they walk without either headphones or earbuds, all to help prevent themselves from being victims. Back to you. <laughs> 